Welcome to my Apple Lisa auction. This is a classical Apple Lisa, and I show you now how it works. At first, I put on the external Apple profile hard disk. It takes around two minutes until it boots up. Now it does the self-check of the hard disk and uh, after the red light stays red uh, you can start up the Lisa. It is a typical Lisa 2.5 with uh, 5 megabyte profile and uh, the old motherboard with a parallel port and the Lisa 1 mouse is also included. I'm waiting until the hard disk stays red. And no, you're not bidding on this Lisa. This would be a little bit too... would uh, cost a little bit too much. <laughs> Okay, the red light is here and now we can switch on the Lisa. This particular Lisa runs on 110 volt. And the profile on 220 but it uh, can be changed. I will take a seat now. Here is the typical start screen. It tests all the components inside. It takes another two minutes until it boots up. Now it starts off, it's the Lisa Office System 3.1 or also called 7 slash 7. At first you see this uh, message, it's because the batteries on the back side are not there, it has no meaning, the internal clock is not working. I loaded uh, several programs onto the hard disk, <coughs> like Lisa Draw, Lisa Graph, Lisa List, Lisa Project, Lisa Calc, Lisa Write, and uh, Lisa Terminal. Uh, let's demonstrate an example, like uh, Lisa Project file. So I open now an example file from Lisa project. Before I can uh, open my file I have to copy it. Everything takes a little time hard disk is working hard. And there it is. What everyone can do now by some seconds in 1984 was pretty cool. Here you can set aside everything. It's like a feature like on the Macintosh. And you can put things into the wastebasket of course empty the wastebasket yeah 
Now I want to demonstrate to you that the diskette drive is working. I put in one disk. And there it is on the desktop. And I put it out again. And it works nice. Okay. I think I'll show you the internal guts of this laser. So I switch her off. You just press the button and the laser goes down. And she's out. These are the internal guts of the laser. On the motherboard there's the I.O. board, which is this card. Then here we have the processor board with the big Motorola processor and the two memory boards. This laser also has a parallel port card here at the side, at the expansion port, which is used for the profile. The inside is very nice, it's okay, she's clean. And on the front side, you can see the 400k diskette drive with the Lisa light card which uh, was needed when you transform the former Lisa one with uh, the 400k drive you needed this Lisa light card there is my baby good luck